You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX policy configuration, which is the main task of a Juniper SRX device to control traffic between zones. Unlike firewall filter, it is stateful. That means you have to only permit the traffic from the initiator zone to the destination zone for each type of the traffic, and the return traffic will be automatically permitted. Juniper SI's policy troubleshooting and monitoring will be discussed in the next dedicated section because of its importance. As you know, and we have discussed in the second lesson, Juniper SI's traffic flow policy is the main task of a Juniper SI device. It controls traffic between zones and in a stateful manner. In this section, we learn how to configure a security policy as you can see in the figure security policies have to be configured between zones between each zone pair you can configure as many policy you need the order of the policies are important and they are processed in order until there is a match with the traffic by default, there is an implicit deny all rule at the end of zone pair policies. In other words, if the traffic is not matched with any of the configured policies, then it will be discarded. It is recommended that you write your explicit deny all policy at the end of each zone pair policies in order to also log discarded traffics. For each policy, we have to match the traffic. Matching the source address, destination address, and application is necessary for each security policy. Address and application must be any or selected from address book and application list that we have already prepared. In the previous sections, we have learned and discussed both of these topics. For each policy, we have to also select an action, which is normally to permit or reject the traffic. With reject, SRX send an ICMP message to the source of traffic to inform that traffic is discarded, but with discard, traffic is discarded silently. It is recommended to also lock and count important traffic in addition to permit reject discard actions you are allowed to choose log and count actions simultaneously this is the topology on which we will configure our first security policy juniper srx is connected to the outside zone through interface giga ethernet 0 and with the ip address 192.168.1 slash 24 it is also connected to the inside zone through the interface Giga Ethernet 1 and with the IP address 192.168.10.24. Our target is to permit log and count HTTP, ICMP and Telnet traffic from inside to outside zone. We discard and log all other traffic through configuring explicit deny all policy this is the configuration that we will apply to the juniper sx device all policies are configured from inside to outside zone we write four policies in the first policy with the name of permit web we will permit log and count any traffic from the source 192 168 10 SH24 to any destination with HTTP as application. The source address is selected from the address book that we have configured in the previous sections. We lock matching traffic when the sessions are initiated and terminated with lock session initiate and session close keywords in the same way telnet traffic and icmp traffic are permitted in the second and third policies with permit 
telnet and permit ICMP policies. In the last rule, we configure a policy to deny all other traffic. We don't use the default implicit deny all traffic since we are going to log and count discarded traffic which is not activated in the implicit deny rule. Now let's copy and commit the configuration and show compare from the inside zone to the outside zone permit web permit telnet permit icmp and deny all for each policy from the source ip address 192 168.10 to the destination address with the appropriate application icmp telnet or Jonas http as action the traffic is permitted log and counted and then in the last deny all rule policy we reject all other traffic also log and count all discarded traffic which is not activated in the default implicit deny all traffic and then commit just to test the result of our policy i will ping telnet and create an http connection from the inside zone to the outside zone it is expected that all these sessions will be open let's check it this is in the inside zone this is the web and this is telnet connection and also ping we also create a ftp condition from inside to outside zone and it is expected that it does not work again we try as you can see it does not work in the next section we will discuss how to monitor and troubleshoot security policies but now just to make sure that the traffic is really transferred through Juniper SRX, we can check traffic flow with show security flow session. Let's ping once again. And then run show security flow session. As you can see, permit web from the source 10.121. 188 from the inside to the outside zone with the destination port 80 80 23 and also icmp match with the permit web policy permit telnet web policy and permit icmp policy but in the next section we will dedicatedly discuss how to monitor and troubleshoot traffic through the juniper srx uh, policies